Hello, and welcome to AutoCAD 2026. In this video, we'll show you the latest features and improvements in this release. AutoCAD Foundations is a new learning series for beginners or those looking to refresh their AutoCAD skills. This series, which is currently only in English, starts with a tour of the AutoCAD UI. We'll teach you how to create and save drawing files, use basic commands to create and modify objects, annotate, hatch, dimension your drawings, and more. Prefer to learn these skills hands-on through a drawing project? Check out the house deck and square flange plate tutorials. Support files are now project aware. This means that all drawings and collaborators in an Autodesk Docs project can share one set of connected support files. Let's walk through how to set up project aware support files in Autodesk Docs. Open the Options dialog box, click the Files tab, and then click Setup. You can now set up the fonts, plot styles, templates, and other support files in your Autodesk Docs project. All drawings and collaborators within this project can now use the same support files without individual setup. The new What's Changed Insight shows an overview of edits made between saved activities by all collaborators, so you can quickly catch up with what changed in the drawing since you last worked in it. When you click a saved activity, the Insight gives you a high-level summary of changes, a workflow breakdown based on commands used, edit time, and file size changes. We hope this new addition to Activity Insights enhances your collaboration and streamlines your workflow. In this release, we've continued to build our capabilities of importing and syncing markups from Autodesk Docs to AutoCAD. Now, when you import markups from Autodesk Docs, Markup Assist can recognize text, strike throughs, and boundary markups. Additionally, Markup Assist can now detect markups that were created on a PDF before it was uploaded to Autodesk Docs. In the previous release, only markups drawn in Autodesk Docs were detected. Also, issues created in Autodesk Docs can now be viewed in AutoCAD. Smart Blocks Search and Convert now finds text variations in addition to identical blocks to streamline repetitive tasks. Let's try it out with an office floor plan. Once you select the object and cubicle number and click Search and Convert, you'll see that all the cubicle numbers are identified for block conversion, in addition to the identical objects. The new Search Review toolbar makes it easy to adjust filters, see the total number of matching instances, go to the next or previous instance, and convert to block. You can also add a tag for the cubicle numbers by clicking Define Attribute Tags. In this release, Smart Blocks Detect and Convert has improved detection capability to find more matching sets of objects for block conversion. Once you run Detect and Convert, the palette will show all detected sets. Choose a set and see the total number of found instances. Go to the next or previous instance. Change or edit the primary instance. Or convert the set to a block. The new Edit Primary capability ensures that Detect and Convert finds precisely what you want. In our case, only chairs with arms. Add or remove objects from the selected primary instance. This will update the block and thumbnail and help streamline your workflows. In this release, we integrated the center layer system variable into the workflows of creating new center lines and center marks. The value of the center layer system variable can be changed at the command prompt or on the ribbon. To see a complete list of new commands and system variables related to these new features, check out the product help. 